Missoula Board of Adjustments is called to order. It is close to 6 p.m. Can I get roll call, please? Hans Hoffman. Here. Zach Reimer. Here. Sharon Palmer. Here. James Sage. Absent. Andy Short. Here. Patrick Brigham. Absent. Sandy Mitchell. Absent. John Newman. Absent. Lance Cook. Here. All right, and you have quorum. Approval of minutes. The minutes of the regular board meeting of September 26, 2018 have been distributed in our packets. Are there any corrections to be made in the minutes? Yeah, Andy, um, I noticed in the minutes we, we had had a conversation in the last meeting about the sidewalk being moved and that being a requirement of the, uh, the approval uh, that the, I think the engineers requested that. And I noticed it wasn't in the minutes. And Sean and I just had a conversation about this. Um, I think the minutes are great besides missing that part. So I just asked Sean, um, could you check that into that and if it was discussed in part of the motion to add that into the minutes? Okay, Sean, we'll just wait till next meeting to through the minutes. Yep. Thank you. Public comment. This is the time for members of the public to speak about matters that are not on the agenda. The time limit for public comment is three minutes. Seeing none, do we have any staff announcements? Members of the board, yes. My only announcement is that our Due to the busy holiday schedule, our November and December Board of Adjustment meeting is combined to December 5th. And at this time, we know of at least one uh, public forum that will be on that agenda. Thank you. All right, public hearing, on to public hearings. We have one public forum tonight for Hawthorne Elementary School. And we have the staff report. Mr. Chair, members of the board, for the record, I am Matt Heimel, planner with City of Missoula Development Services. This public forum is for the Hawthorne School, a property owned by the Missoula County School District. The project as proposed does not meet the zoning regulations for dynamic display signs. A public agency may deviate from zoning regulations if a public forum is held where interested parties may provide comment to the Board of Adjustment. Hawthorne Elementary School is located at 2835 South 3rd Street West. The property is located in Ward 6 and is in the Two Rivers Neighborhood Council area. The school property in green, as indicated in the middle of the image and outlined in red, is located in the OP3 zoning district, in which schools are a permitted use. The OP3 zoning district is primarily intended to promote public, quasi-public, and institutional uses. Immediately surrounding zoning districts are ZD13 and CRR3 in the county, and R10 and R8 in the city. The school shown in the middle of the aerial image, and again outlined in red, is on the south side of South 3rd Street West, west of Reserve. The school is surrounded by residential development. With regard to the proposed signage, a school reno renovation is currently under construction at the Hawthorne Elementary School campus. Plans for the project include the additional installation of a dynamic display sign on the west face of the school on Hiberta Street. An existing manual reader board sign that is approximately 52.1 square feet in area is planned to be replaced by a single face dynamic display sign with, with red electronic text that will be 19.71 square feet in area. According to the applicant, the dynamic display sign will provide up-to-date information in regards to school activities and holiday schedules for parents, students, and the community. Chapter 20.75.070F of the Missoula City Zoning Ordinance prohibits dynamic display signs in open space and residential zoning districts. This is an additional um, rendering or plan of the, uh, of the dynamic display sign and its location on that face of the building. There are extra regulations in 20.75.070F that are applicable where dynamic display signs are, are, are permitted, including but not limited to the orientation of the sign, the whole time of the image, transitions between images, brightness of the electronic image itself, and the display types. The applicant has stated that the dynamic display will comply with those requirements 
with the exception of the orientation because the sign will face a residential area. This slide shows a picture that serves as an example of the sign. This is not the sign that will be used, but an example of the, of the uh, same model. With regard to public comment, we did send 38 letters to adjacent property owners. We did receive three comments of support. Two of those comments were included in the staff memo in, her, in, in your pockets, packets, excuse me. The third comment was uh, received prior to our deadline to have those submitted to you, so it's not in, included, but it also included a, a, a note of support. This concludes my presentation. I'm available to answer any questions, and the applicant or the applicant's representative is also available. This is not an action item before the Board of Adjustment. So this agenda item is limited to calling for public comment on the dynamic display sign. Uh, the applicant um, or his or her representative may address the board. Hello, my name is Burley. This is on. My name is Burley McWilliams and Director of Operations and Maintenance for Missoula County Public Schools. Um, we've been through this process a few times now on other, other schools. Uh, we've taken public comment very seriously um, regarding these dynamic reader boards, um, as much as to uh, schedule these, the reader boards to go off at night so that they're not distracting at night and they keep the neighborhoods um, somewhat peaceful from a light noise standpoint. Um, we've had zero uh, complaints um, of those reader boards that have been installed thus far, so um, with some negative comment as well, so we think we've addressed a lot of uh, some of the public needs or requests regarding these these dynamic reader boards and I'd be happy to answer any questions from the board thanks Thank you. appreciate it is there any public comment about the sign yeah just please come up to the microphone state your name for the record My name is uh, Richard Roberts. I live at 575 Alberta. My question is, how bright is this sign going to be since my front windows face right across the street from where that sign's going? And I'm wondering how long is this sign going to be on at night or how early in the morning? We we don't know, um, but maybe the uh, the representative. If you do, you have any more questions or comment? No, that's the only thing uh, I'm worried about because, I mean, the noise in the morning and noise it is part of the building process, so we live with that. Okay. Uh, thank you for your comment. Yeah, we'll see if the if the applicant or the representative wants to address that. Yeah, thanks. So I believe at the other schools we've done uh, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. as the operation, but we're, we're open for discussion with that as well. I'd be more happy to discuss that with the neighbor um, outside as well. And then we also have a representative from Yesco, which is a design company that's here, maybe able to speak with the, the, uh, the brightness of it. Um, one thing I could suggest is um, I believe it'll be very similar to the ones that's currently installed at Lowell and Franklin, and so it'd be something that the, uh, the neighborhood could, could kind of take a look at for themselves. Thank you. Hi, I'm Dave Sather with Young Electric Sign Company. Um, as far as the brightness, it is totally, uh, the sign is capable of any number of brightness settings. It's kind of set at the factory of a certain amount. Um, seems to be kind of an industry standard, but if, if, the, if the neighborhood has concerns, boy, can you turn that down a little? We certainly can. The unit itself runs at about 15% of its total brightness at night, meaning it just because of the contrasting ambient surrounding light is dark anyways, you don't have to drive the sign quite as hard, and then about 85% during the day. I think it's a nice courtesy community thing if, if the hours address 7 to 10. As you've been through several of these forms, and I won't go into great detail, but it's, the, the sign is designed to be read not provide ambient light to read a newspaper. So it, it, it illuminates the letters, 
the back the background is black um, so it's not a flashing scintillating it's meant for copy very limited graphics it's red many shades of red if they show a flag for May Day or something it, it would be a, a red flag with shades of red um, but I think their goal is pretty much just to do copy but I'll let the school enhance on that a little bit but it certainly can be dimmed if, if there is a concern. Didn't I answer any more questions that way for you folks? No, thank you. Very good. Is there any other public comment? Okay, seeing none, that closes the public forum. Thank you. Any other business? No other business from staff. This meeting's adjourned. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Andy. Uh, I, did, I did once upon a time. <laughs> I can, I, yeah, I can request. Thank you. At any time.